the special guard icon, which I also refer to as the Tulia icon, is another painting from my Modern Icon series. Apart from depicting personal stories and memories, they also celebrated figures from everyday Athenian life. This one is dedicated to the iconic Tulia, a Greek soldier that serves in the Presidential Guard, similar to the beef eaters of London who stand guard at Buckingham Palace. This painting also reminds me of a friend who I studied together with at the Athens School of Fine Arts who used to be a Tulia. I often saw them near Syndagma Square in Athens, marching or standing guard in front of the Presidential Palace, which houses the modern-day Greek Parliament. In Greece, young men are obligated to do army service. The special guards are hand-picked amongst the new recruits to undergo intense training. To be part of this elite unit, they, you have to be 1.8 centimetres tall and athletic. A Tulian needs to learn how to stand for several hours in a row, avoid eye contact, stare at an imaginary point without moving or blinking his eyes. Tourists have a lot of fun trying to get their attention. Tuliathas have an impressive marching style. They lift their legs up to shoulder height and are impeccable dancers required to perform in official ceremonies. And yes, their uniform makes an impression too. It's a skirt, but it's also strongly symbolic. The skirt is said to have 400 plates, one for each year the Turks occupied Greece. I'm pleased to note that the guy in my painting looks very much like a pacifist, don't you think? He, he seems innocent, almost childlike in his expression, resembles a toy soldier maybe, even though he's holding a gun. Perhaps this painting is a little tongue-in-cheek. It definitely has a lightness and irony to it that could provoke discussion. Though I take pride in aspects of my culture, I am suspicious of unchecked national pride. If you look carefully... You can spot my signature on the bottom right-hand side of the painting. My first year back in Australia, I signed my surname on my paintings in English, but like it sounded in Greek, Hanyoti with a H instead of Chaniotis with a CH. A different kind of pride, perhaps. This icon is one of the earlier paintings of this series, which I placed in gold frames to deliberately refer to the gold leaf often used in icons of saints.